everyone. Come on, send me some stuff if you're here. Hey, Sandy. Hey, everyone. Hi, it's Ads here from Orange Create. Thank you so, so much for um, joining in. Hey, Francine. Hi, Julie. Bonsoir, tout le monde. Enfin, j'espère que. Et quelle heure en... au Canada? Uh, bonsoir, Sophie. 14 people joining in already. Bienvenue, merci, Ariel. Coucou, Céline. Et bonsoir, Suzanne. Hi, everyone. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Susie. Donc, euh, n'hésitez pas à parler en français, en anglais, à m'écrire en français, en anglais. Donc, je comprends les deux. Et euh, je vais essayer de répondre au maximum aux questions. Hi, everyone. So, feel free to speak French, English, any language you feel comfortable with. Um, I will do and I will translate everything in French and English. Donc, je vais tout traduire en français et en anglais. Donc, n'hésitez pas à m'écrire euh, en anglais ou en français. Hi Natalie, hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by, thank you so much for joining me, oh 19 people already in. Good, 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 I'm excited, donc j'ai trop trop hâte, de... je suis très content d'être ici avec vous ce soir pour ce petit live, euh, merci à Nathalie de m'avoir invité encore une fois et pour sa confiance, surtout. So thanks to Nathalie for inviting me again and for her trust and I hope we're going to have a good time all together and we're going to have a good um, and a lot of fun, yeah, that's what, um, hi Nancy, so happy to see the new release, beautiful, thanks Susan, hello from Ontario, hi Helen, hello, hello, coucou Ginette, beautiful man, thank <laughs> you Nancy, <laughs> hello absent everyone, hi Joanne, um, for those who don't know me, so I'm Abs, or Autour de Moi, known on social media, and um, I'm from Orange Create, so I design for Orange Create, and um, what else do I do, what else do I do, and I work for Orange Create, that's my full-time job, <laughs> and today we will be playing with a new collection, so I'll be introducing to you our new ribbons, stems, and hopefully create some beautiful um, project all together, and I'm here also to answer any questions you want, but also I'm going to show you some um, samples, and I want to show you also some freebies, free, free products. Donc aujourd'hui, donc le programme d'aujourd'hui, attends, avant, je me présente, donc je m'appelle Abs, ou autour de moi sur la toile, donc euh, je viens de Holland Create, et euh, je suis le designer pour Holland Create, mais aussi le euh, directeur et fondateur de Holland Create. Et je suis très, très ravi d'être avec vous ce soir. Donc ce soir, je vais vous présenter la nouvelle collection. On va faire des réalisations ensemble, les, les robons, les tampons. Mais aussi, je vais vous parler de, de la planche exclusive. C'est un tampon euh, cadeau, c'est un free gift. Pardon, j'ai oublié de regarder la section commentaires. Bonjour tout le monde, hâte de vous voir à Montréal. Ah, Merci beaucoup Isabelle, j'espère cette année, j'ai promis à Nathalie de venir euh, après l'été. Donc l'été ici, donc c'est... Donc ça va être après septembre, octobre, voilà, la période de septembre, octobre. Bonjour. Gorgeous, thanks Dominique, merci. Problème, son n'est pas bon. Ah bon? The sound comes in and out. It looks like fine. I have five and I have all the bars. I don't know. The sound comes in and out. The sound is not good. Mm, everyone's saying the sound is not good. Uh, I don't know. My Wi Fi is fine. Is it with Facebook or is it with me? Bon, allez. On commence. Let's start, guys. Let's start. So the first thing that I want to show you today is something that I'm really, really excited about, which is our new addition to the Orland Create catalog, which is the Rabons. So probably you've seen them already at Natalie's um, shops, Fabric Control, or online, or on our social media, um, if you follow us on social media. But today I'm going to tell you all about it, and I'm going to show you more in details. Donc voilà, donc allez, on commence. Donc la première des choses, je vais vous parler de notre nouveau produit, notre nouvelle euh, comme vous dire, euh, addition à catalogue Olen Create, donc c'est les Robons, ou en français les décalcomanies, les décalcomanies comme on dit. Donc peut-être que uh, do you have airports? We can't hear you. No, I don't have any airport here, sorry. Uh, uh, 
okay i think i can figure out um some i think i have some items actually uh, oh, i need to connect them first so i'm gonna try that Is that any better, guys? I don't know. Hello, Carl. Hello, Art and everyone. Hey. Hi, Cindy. Better? Your sound is going in and out. Maybe um, they would have much better. Can you hear me now? So far, so good. Thanks, Natalie. Okay, I'm gonna keep them on there. Okay, what was I saying? Donc, um, je parlais des rabons, de, des rabons, des calcomanies. Sound is good. Brilliant. Yeah, the apples are working. I thought I don't have them here, but I know I saw them just up there. <laughs> but uh, keep talking. We'll see if it fades. So far, so good. Thanks, Nancy. I will try my best. Donc voilà, donc j'ai oublié de quoi je parlais, mais je vais continuer comme si je parlais des rabons. Donc voilà les rabons. Donc on a sorti 10 planches de rabons, de décalcomanie. Donc on a euh, dans des couleurs chaudes et dans des couleurs froides, euh, des motifs pour les fonds, des motifs pour des touches finales, mais aussi pour créer de magnifiques euh, réalisations. Euh, oui, c'est mieux. Merci tout le monde. No one heard. Freebie, freebie, freebie. Yeah, no one heard. There are some freebies here. So let me start with this one first. Let me just get out of the way. So this is a free stamp set that we have. So Natalie have some of it, have some stock of this one. So if anyone um, want this free stamp set, as you can see, you have all these stamps here. If you want this free stamp set, I think you have to spend, if I'm not wrong, correct me, Natalie, if I get it wrong. If you spend um, 100 Canadian dollars on all and create product, you will get this one for free. D'accord Donc, avant d'oublier, donc là, je vais vous parler de la planche euh, cadeau que Nathalie vous offre. Donc, pour tout achat, pour tout achat pardon, de 100 dollars canadiens, 100 dollars canadiens, produit All and Create, bien sûr, Nathalie vous offre cette planche. Le stock est très limité, donc ça va être premier arrivé, premier servi. The stock is very limited, so it will be first arrive, first served. And that, I'm sure Natalie will tell you more about it. And she, um, if I got something wrong, I hope. Uh, I think she said $100. Yeah, correct me, Natalie, if it's not correct. So this is a free stamp set. Um, so if you want it, you know what to do. Actually, while I'm saying that, I have put in front of me a couple of cards that I made with that stamp set, as you can see here, using the books. The books are from the also the collection that we just released. They come in um, the sets. A7. So this is one card using, of course, the new tags, the frames. This is another one, but also I made a tag. Very limited with purchase of hundred dollars. Thanks, Natalie, for confirming. Donc voilà, donc ça c'est des réalisations que j'ai euh, réalisées avec la nouvelle planche, avec la, la avec la planche cadeau. Donc voilà, si vous voulez cette planche, donc pour tout achat de 100 dollars ou plus sur les produits Holland Create et c'est une planche par personne. Donc one set per customer. Ok, I think better if I turn the camera and I show you all the rabbits in detail. So in this way, this way. That way. And then is that better? Yeah. This way you can see that remove everything and then show you. So um I'm gonna open each pack for you. So these are the rubbers. I think the lighting is really bad here. So this is pack number one. So what do you have? You have two sheets in each pack. Sorry. Is that better? Yeah. So in each pack, you have two sheets, A5 size. So this is, um. so you have uh, this first, this is number one. It's called um, Pastel Vibes. 
sorry, I opened mine, but this one was open, so I cannot find the second sheet on it. So this is just to show you the size, this is an A5 size, donc c'est un format A5, c'est les décalcomanies, donc dans chaque paquet vous aurez deux planches, deux rabons, donc um, on a 10 planches au total, je vais vous montrer, ça c'est la numéro 6, donc 3, 2, euh, 8, 5, je vais essayer de les mettre en ordre pour tout vous montrer, ça c'est la 7, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, la 1 et la numéro 4 qui vient ici. So this is number 4. Um, number 1. I think I'm just missing number 9 if I'm not on here, but they work all the same way. Right. So what are... Um, oops, sorry. My camera, guys, I'm really sorry. My tripod is not... New Gorgeous Travon, d'un planche fantastique. Merci Nathalie, déjà acheté hier. Super Dominique. Donc, um, Rabons. What are Rabons? So when I created Rabons, I know that Rabons exist in the market for a long time. There are some focal points, there are some sentiments, there are some finishing touches. But also I created those with my team um, with all these different textures and elements. So let me show you, you can see all the details, you can see the different layers, the different colors. Donc, comme vous pouvez voir ici, c'est des couches et des couches de travail. Donc, on a des chiffres, de des numéros, on a de la texture, on a des couleurs différentes aussi. Um, because I remember like each time, um, because we have TV here in the UK, I'm on TV or I'm teaching or any where a lot of people ask me, oh, Abs, we love your background. Abs, we would love to create background like yours. Abs, you can never do something like this. And I heard that a lot, a lot. And I always tell them, like, um, sometimes they say, oh, we don't have the same product as you. We don't have all the colors of inks. We don't have, like, um, we can't do jelly plates. We can't do the transfer technique and all of that. So the rubbles will give you that possibility to create all this beautiful background, all this kind of posh technique, as I call them, in a very, very, very easy way. Um, in a very, very easy way. I think my, my tripod, sorry guys, I'm just fixing my tripod. Uh, to create all this in a very easy way. So it gives you that beautiful background in no time. And I'm gonna do some in front of you. Let's do together something. So I'm gonna pick this one. So this one, you have the blue and the brown and all these yummy orange colors. Uh, I'm just gonna take one of the piece of paper that I have here, and it's so easy to use. So. You can do it in many ways. One of the first thing is you can um, just remove that wax, wax paper and then put it on your piece of paper here, like so, and then just drop the section you want. So you can use just part of it. You can use all of it. You can just uh, grab from bit from here, a bit from there, and then create that background. And if you're really not confident, like, or you maybe you say, oh, it's still risky, you're scared. If you're going to do it, you overdo it, or you're going to cut a section that you don't want to cut. All you have to do is with your scissor, take your scissor, and then just cut the section that you want to transfer, basically. But um, I'm going to show you both ways, okay? I'm going to show you. So for myself, let's say I just want to transfer this section here. Donc, si par exemple, je veux juste transférer cette partie-là. Donc, moi, je travaille directement avec mon rabon sur mon papier. Donc, et je, et j'appuie sur la partie que je veux transférer. And I'm just pressing, I'm just like a rubbing kind of, not even a pressing, a rubbing the section that I want to transfer. Comme ceci. Et donc, là, je suis en train de... Um, donc, chaque paquet, vous aurez le, euh, le bâtonnet en bois pour bien transférer votre image. And then I'm just transferring the section here. And the good thing about it is you can always come and check. You can always remove and see. For example, I'm missing a little bit of the A. Come back and do it like so. You have it transferred now. Donc, vous pouvez toujours regarder à chaque fois. Et vous, si vous voulez encore plus, si vous voulez moins, si vous voulez transférer d'autres détails, Et au fur et à mesure, vous regardez et vous regardez et c'est super, super, super facile. Et vraiment, in no time, you create a beautiful background like so. Look at that. Let me show you the details. Let me show you all the details. In no time, you have a beautiful background. Dries quickly. You don't have to wait. You don't have to um, lay and layer. You don't have to stamp, stencil, spray something. And then the paper will go all, um, had to say, like where, and then you have to dry for it. 
euh, donc c'est vraiment c'est sur le coup donc vous appuyez directement euh, vous transférez l'image directement c'est sec sur le coup donc vous n'avez pas à attendre vous n'avez pas à comment vous dire pour le séchage ou à tamponner à rajouter des détails et, euh, et c'est vraiment sur le coup vous aurez directement un résultat super mais surtout votre papier ne se gondole pas aussi moi je travaille sur du euh, moi je travaille sur du papier peint on de classe Fontaine donc là par exemple pardon je me suis trompé de paquet Là, je travaille sur du paint on. Donc, Nathalie, je sais qu'elle a euh, en spank. Donc, il y a le orange, il y a le gris, il y a le beige. Donc, sur tous les papiers, ce rabons marche super, super bien, quel que soit le papier que vous travaillez. Moi, je découpe le morceau en premier. Vous pouvez aussi, euh, Nathalie, vous pouvez découper le morceau en premier. Et vous aurez directement, euh, et vous aurez, pardon, directement euh, un, un fond ici, comme ça. And then, what you can do... Once you have your background sorted, like so, you can just grab a focal point. For example, here I have so many focal points that I'm going to show you later all these stamps in detail. But I just want to quickly grab um, a few and I just show you. For example, you have the giraffe. You bring your giraffe here if you want the giraffe or the flamingo or anything you have in your stash. The giraffe and then you have a little mite sitting here. You can just bring those, add sentiments. Add something and then the job is done so you don't have to do a lot of work at all you see it's easy like this let's do another one together where this time we're going to cut a section and then see how it goes okay so let me grab another pack i'm going to take this pack here number 10 I'm going to take pack number 10. You have two sheets inside. So you have this beautiful kind of alcoholic, uh, alcohol um, uh, ink, sorry, all dripping here with a lot of text and script. And then you have this beautiful one in that kind of magenta, orange and yellow colors with different words and letters and all of that. So what you can do, if you're not confident enough, you just can cut the section you want to transfer. It's so easy, so you don't have to, um, I have to say, So you don't have to keep worrying about, oh, uh, what if I mess up the rest of the rabbons and that one of this and that. It's so easy. Donc, vous avez qu'à couper le morceau que vous voulez transférer, comme ceci. Et après, je viens le poser sur mon papier. Et ensuite, all oh, I'm doing is just transferring that section. Like so. And then you can always check if it transferred or, or not. If it's not, for example, here I'm missing this bit. So I'm just going to come back here. Donc, par exemple, ici, j'ai raté euh, cette petite partie. Donc, je peux toujours revenir et transférer la partie euh, mon compte. Like so. So you can always come back and add the sections that you missed, like so. So now you have your um, section transferred and you have that beautiful, beautiful background. Another thing with Rabons that is really good is you can um, layer on the top of it. Donc, il y a autre chose que j'aime vraiment avec les Rabons, c'est que vous pouvez euh, rajouter, c'est que vous pouvez euh, mettre une couche de Rabons, des Rabons sur des Rabons. Donc, donc pour cela, je prends un autre. Donnez-moi une autre couleur. For example, this one, this is, I think, number seven, if I'm not wrong. I just want um, this section here. So if I want just that circle, as you can see here, the circle, and let's say I want to add it uh, probably here. Yeah, so I'm just going to add it on the top and then just rub it. Donc, je le pose ici, et après, je fais le transfert. Et voilà, tout est transféré. And then we have this beautiful background with another section on the top, and it dries straight away, and then you can use it. Et bon. Franchement, pas raison de ne pas crier, on n'a plus besoin de réfléchir. Tout à fait, Dominique, donc c'est super facile. Can you stamp on a rabbon? It depends what ink. If you use Faison, I think you can. Depends what ink you're using. Hello, Abs. Watch it. Thanks, Michel. Un petit chef d'œuvre très vite réalisé, tellement pratique. Merci, Odette.
Je découpe le morceau en premier. Okay, so that's that. So what it also is, you can use it on anything you have at home. Look at this one. This is um, ceramic. Donc là, c'est en céramique. Donc j'ai fait ça. C'est super facile. Je vais vous montrer un petit exemple en deux secondes. So all I have to do is, um, for example, I'm just going to grab this one. And let me add a little bit of... Yeah, the brown on your ceramic. Donc, j'ai décoré des, um, des porte-bougies. J'ai décoré des assiettes uh, en verre, en céramique. J'ai décoré un petit plateau que j'ai ici, enfin un petit vraiment minuscule, où je pose mes clés, je pose, uh, je pose pardon, quand j'ai des pièces de monnaie que je veux pas garder dans ma poche. Donc, je vis toujours mon petit sac et mon petit, um, et ma poche dans ces assiettes-là. And look. Straight away, you have that amazing look straight away. And even here, when it's rounded, you can do all of that. So that's why I created. Um, I think also I have, um, you can use it on glass, you can use it on paper, you can use it. Oh, if you do albums, for example, if you create albums and then you love creating um, different albums. Let's say this is an album that I have here. This is um, Les Ateliers de Karine. French brand, probably um, Natalie has it in, um, probably Natalie stock that. So I bought this album because I really like it. You can do the same thing. You can just transfer straight away the section you want. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And look at the texture. This is not, um, uh, to be fair, I don't even know what texture is that. It's not canvas. I don't know what it's that. But I'm just going to transfer some sections and then decorate it. And then, for example, I want to add a little bit of details. So I'm going to transfer this section here. It looks really, really good. So we want a little bit more of those elements. You can use it on your art journal. Euh, donc, vous pouvez utiliser en mix media, un art journal, scrapbooking, la carterie, euh, pour faire des tags, des ATC, tout ce que vous voulez. Donc là, j'ai décoré aussi une couverture d'un album. Donc, voilà. Donc, euh, les robots s'utilisent sur tout, 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 euh, tout support. Do you need to seal? Okay, that's a really good question. It depends what you want to do with this. For example, if you want to use in your glass that you want to wash later and you, and or not necessarily to wash, but you wore it if you're gonna peel off, if the rubbers will peel off, yes, you need to seal it. So if you're working on fabric, use just a fabric sealer. If you work in a glass, you use a fabric sealer, uh, sorry, glass sealer, but also what you can do is gel medium. If you have gel medium, you can use it on the top. If you have matte medium, if you have glaze, if you have basically anything that dries clear, you can just put a layer on the top, let it dry, and this way all your rubbers are sealed. You can put anything on the top of them, you can do whatever you want, and you will not be worried of losing the details and then peeling off all that details. So that's how you seal um, your designs. So, okay, let me come back to those two. So we have these two beautiful backgrounds. So I wanna work a little bit on these two here. So we have a lot of dyes. We have a lot of dyes on it to create. I'm sure you've seen this on Natalie's shop. We have like some tags. We have like this one. Um, I don't know if I have more tags here. We have the rectangulars. They have two different, three different ones. And what I want to do, I just want to create some, um, I just want to create a frame. They cut it on my, um, cut it here on my, uh, how it's called, on my paper. So this is what I did just before. You grab your die. I remove all my dies from the, from the, um, how it's called. I remove all my dies from the, um, from the storage, it's easy for me to have them this way. So each die, what do you have in each die? You have the main frame, which is the outer frame, and then you have the inner frame, which is the inside one, that gives you that good matte and layering. Donc ces dies là, donc moi je coupe tous mes papiers avec ces dies maintenant, euh, parce que tout simplement, euh, avant je travaillais sur un format carré, un format rectangulaire, et là j'ai envie de changer, j'ai envie d'avoir des bordures un peu, comment te dire, un peu euh, modernes, différentes surtout, voilà le terme c'est différent, un peu différent, 
différentes et j'ai pas euh, et je veux pas à chaque fois avoir des formes régulières. Donc j'utilise énormément les nouveaux dice de All and Create depuis qu'on les a sortis. J'utilise que ça, que ça, que ça. Vous pouvez voir ici. C'est rien. This is one of them, for example. Since we release dance dice, I use only dance dice all the time. I had enough actually of using um all the time, rectangular, square. I wanted something different. I wanted something a little bit more modern. I wanted something more refreshing. So that's why um, we designed those um, dice. And then since then, I use them all, all the time. Look how beautiful they look. <coughs> you can matte and layer them on um, a piece of cardstock, or you can use their actual matte and layer because you have both of them. You have the inner frame and the outer frame. So you have both. You can like this. We have something like this with the book and they added a glossy accent. Can you see it's all shiny, some glossy accent on the top. This is all using all and create product. This is the new collection. The dogs. Or oh, we have this one also with some glossy accents, shiny here as well. So a little bit of um, crackled glossy accent. The other butterfly. I have this one. Donc j'ai tout ça. Quoi d'autre? Ah oui, j'ai um, j'ai le flamingo et les chats aussi. Pareil avec le die. Euh, quoi d'autre? J'ai le chat qui sort de la boîte. I have this. I love this uh, cat here. Um, coming out of the box. The giraffe, one of my absolute favorite from the new collection. Donc là, donc voilà, ça c'est pour les dice, je parlais vite fait des dice. Donc ensuite, qu'est-ce que je fais C'est que je coupe mon morceau. Donc je prends le premier die, donc je pose le die ici et je coupe la partie que je veux. Donc soit je peux cette partie-là, je peux glisser ici, ici, je choisis la section que je veux découper. So what I use my dice is, the good thing is I can choose which section I want to frame. I just want a little bit here, for example, on the side, and then I can stamp here what I want this section, what I want complete, like background like this. You can choose what you want. And most of the time, what I do with the second one, the after frame, I cut it in a different color. And most of the time I go for black because I love the black. The black most of the time really, really bring the color out and give you all that nice, um, nice, um, how to say, highlight all your work and all the color you have there. So this is the second one from. So I have it already cut before the live, and then all what you need to do is just come and put it on the top. So you have straight away this nice um, mat and layering. And then once you have your background ready, the only thing you need to do is grab your stem and then start creating your composition. For example, let me see. Let me, for example, bring the flamingo. You put your flamingo here. The flamingo is the new collection that also is released um, today. Uh, it's from this stem set here. It's stem set 1125. This is the flamingo stem set. So we have a flamingo here. Or if you don't want to use the flamingo, you can use the cat. Let me, for example, bring, oops, sorry, let me just bring the cat here. And then I can use with the cat, where did I put that? Um, the mouse that I had before here. Or you can do, oh, actually, you can do also uh, landscape, not necessarily um, portrait. Let me turn that one, you can see better. So you can do landscape and then bring the dog with all the, uh, all the music and all the different elements, like so. Uh, 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 uh. What else can I do? There's little dog also, there's little dog can be sitting here next to it and then just add the sentiment donc voici like, donc ça c'est tout ça ça vient des euh, tout ça ça vient de la nouvelle collection donc ici je vais vous montrer les planches de tampon donc this small dog comes from this stamp set 100 uh, 1120 sorry uh, they have there are nine stamp sets in total you can see all the stamp sets here in total you have QR code here if you want some free inspiration it takes you to our all and create fanatics group where you can see a lot of a lot of free inspiration tutorials and you can ask questions you can interact with the design team and everyone it's an amazing community online so this is a dog coming from this stem set and the other dog comes from the a7 stem set which is this one well is it let me see if any, any questions very nice love the nice edge uh, what die is that? This one is die number. This one is die number thirty-two. This one is thirty-two. So I thought I'm using the. I thought I'm using the thirty-one. I thought I was using thirty-one. 
Yeah, but you can do exactly the same technique with any dye you have. Like they all work the same way and they, all, they have the same concept. Hi, sorry I'm late, just got off work. Oh my Karen, still here. And then you can watch later on um, Rewind. Gorgeous Wax Apps, thanks Karen. Il y a plein qui sont en rupture de stock, mais aussitôt qu'il les reçoit de nouveau, je vais les recommander. Merci Nathalie. Uh, you took the word out of my mind. About what? Oh, love the flamingo. Yes, we all love the flamingo. So this is just an example how you can create easily a background. And then um, once you create that background, you can just um, with the rubbons. And then after that, you can just um, start layering your stamps and all of that. So this is for the rubbons. Um, if you want me to do another demo with these rubbons and show you how you can um, layer more on the top of that. For example, this section here, let me just do it while I um while I'm reading your comments, you do the weather. Don't forget to use those QR codes. No be fun to use it. Look QR codes. Voila. So uh, let me just cut this circle here because I love those colors. So you cut the section you want. I want this section. Be this way. A kind of continuity to that pattern. Okay, I'm just cutting a little bit. I want the rounded corners. Uh, yeah, like so. So easy. I'm not even pressing. I'm literally just rubbing, as you can see. It's just rub, rub, rub. And then you can always lift from one corner and then have and see if it transfers and it looks like everything's been transferred already probably just this bit color here you see and you have already that extension and then that continuity and then i don't like kind of this um this is too perfect for me i want it to be more um let's say more um blending more with the background don't all what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna bring some of those um I'm going to use directly from the rub on. So I'm just going to um, rub small bits, just transfer, for example, this bit here, like so, maybe to um, a bit of this texture here. Yep. Like so. The word glorious, why not? See, in no time, you can create literally a beautiful background straight away, and then you can have all the details, all the different ones. Uh, hello, everyone. Bonjour, tout le monde. Bonjour, Julie. Ça va? J'ai acheté tous les chats. Ah, super. So, this is a beautiful and quick background just using the strobons. And then again, let's do the, you said, um, Natalie loves the flamingo. Let me use some flamingos there. Where are the flamingos? Do I have flamingos? Let me see. Let me just bring the flamingos. I'm sure I do have some flamingos. Yeah, this flamingo can sit here. Like so. Make a little bit less. And then I can use it with... Um, I have another one here. Because I wanted a couple of flamingos. And then bring the second flamingo here like so see let me just show you some close-ups magnifique merci au plaisir de te rencontrer à montréal bon week-end à tous à toutes pardon happy women's day tout à fait happy women's day everyone donc uh, bon fête uh, bon fête de femmes uh, merci dominique gorgeous background thank you donc um, voilà donc là c'était juste une idée pour vous montrer comment les rubbons marchent super super bien et facilement ok donc là c'était pour les rubbons je voulais vous montrer autre chose qui sont les tampons. Et après, je vais faire une démonstration. So, for the stamps, what do we have? We have, um, let me just put them in categories. We have giraffes, we have cats, we have dogs and flamingos. So, the flamingos, we have two, we have stamp, two stamp sets of each. So, we have the flamingos, A6 and A7. And A7. So, donc, pour les flamingos, on a deux. On a la A7, la, euh, la 1126 et la 1125. Ça, là, c'est la A7. Donc, ici, vous avez une composition. C'est un exemple qu'on vous montre ici. Mais 
en fait, vous avez 21 tampons à l'intérieur. Donc, toutes ces parties-là sont séparées. Comme vous pouvez voir derrière le package ici, où vous avez tous les flamingos séparés. Donc, vous pouvez créer la même composition ici et c'est super facile. Vous n'avez qu'à suivre le modèle en couverture ou sinon, créer une autre couverture, à votre, euh, une autre composition à votre guise où vous pouvez mettre les noms que vous voulez. On vous donne déjà plusieurs titres. Vous voulez écrire directement. Vous pouvez rajouter la plaque derrière. Vous pouvez rajouter des fleurs. Vous pouvez vraiment faire la composition que vous souhaitez. Et la même chose pour le asset. Donc, vous avez huit tampons au total. Donc, tous ces éléments-là sont séparés et vous pouvez créer la composition que vous voulez. N'hésitez surtout pas aussi à mélanger les deux sets ensemble parce qu'ils ont tous les mêmes tailles et ça marche super bien ensemble. Donc là, c'est pour le Flamingo. Euh, donc là, c'est pour les Flamingo. Attends, je pose ici. Maintenant, on va montrer les chats. And then we have the cats. Um, cats is 11.24 and 11.23. You have an i7. And then you have an i6. Again, you have all the elements separate for both of them, and then you can create any compositions you want, mix them together, keep them separate, standalone, or you know, um, or you can also mix them with flamingos if you want. It's up to you. The choice is really yours. And then the dogs. Next one is the dog. We have three dogs. For the dogs, we have the first A7, which is the 11-22. Donc, ça, c'est le... Pour les chats, on a trois planches. Donc, on a ce premier chat, format A7. Donc, vous avez tous les éléments séparés. Even those are separate elements. So, you have four stamps in this one. Second one, a... you have six stamp sets. Let me turn the packages so you can see. I love this one in the middle. I love the one sticking the tongue out. And this is so cute as well. So, this is stamp set 11-21. And then we have the last one, which is the 1120. You have nine stamp sets. And then here you can see all the elements. I love this bird as well. I love this dog. Let me just do some close ups. I know. Uh, we need the cat with the cheese. I do, my happy place. Giraffe and flamingos for me here usually. Um, do you color your stamps mostly with markers? I use ink tens pencils. This is my um, ink tens pencils. That's what I use to color most of the time. So this is watercolor. It's called um, from Derwent's. It's watercolor pencils. And so I use a lot of my ink tens. I know that Natalie will have them in stock very soon, guys. So do not worry. And then when I come to Canada, hopefully this year, we're going to use them also a lot because for me, they are the best color and I love watercolor. I love diamond ink tents. So this is for the dogs. And then the last ones are the giraffes. I should have two stamp sets, but I can only find one. Good no, good. God knows what is the second one. The small one is an A7. I have no idea where to put it, but let me show you this one. So this one also, you have 18 stamps in total. It stamps at 11.27. You have all, this is the composition, an example here. Donc là, c'est un exemple de composition qu'on vous montre. But on the back, you have everything separate. But everything is measured to work together perfectly. Donc, you have here a composition of an example. Donc là, c'est un, une inspiration, un modèle d'inspiration à vous proposer. Mais vous aurez tous les éléments séparés pour faire la même composition ou, ça, ou carrément, vous utilisez ça séparément euh, avec d'autres projets, par exemple que les nuages, la girafe, les deux ensemble, les arbres. Donc, c'est à vous de voir. C'est vraiment à votre guise. Thank you, as I have this. I don't seem to control markers well. So, uh, watercolor, same. I love watercolor. I'm not a marker person. They are great because you can watercolor with them, but they dry permanent. Indeed, Natalie, was, that's the good thing about them. Uh, just love the stems. I think I might get the die card for the tags, etc. One those days with the flowers. Oh, nice, Isabella. Remember, if you spend a hundred dollars, hundred Canadian dollars, you get this one for free, guys. Um, you get this one for free. N'oubliez pas. Donc, si vous si vous passez commande ou si vous passez à la boutique et vous achetez pour 100 dollars canadiens, vous aurez cette vous aurez cette planche gratuitement. You have it for free. Natalie will offer you that stem set. Uh, love you. Okay, so let me show you now some inspiration and let's do um, some compositions together. So this is with the flamingo. This is the first one with the flamingo that I created. So I used the three different flamingos and I used some watercolor on the background to give that kind of feel. 
Oh my God, they're all so cute. Thanks, Isabella. This is another one with the flamingo and the mouse. And can you see some glossy accent in his eyes? That's that. Uh, do you want more with the flamingos? That's with the flamingo. My comment section, I think, is frozen. Or maybe you're not talking. One of the two, I can just see. Are you still here, guys? Can you say something? So I just, um, so I know that my comment section is not frozen. We're going to do some compositions together in a minute. Show you how I created those. So let me put the dogs here. I have more with the flamingos. And this is the flamingo mixing it with stem set from the previous couple of collections. I'm just going to show you some inspiration while I'm waiting for your comments. Uh, for some reason, it's not loading, so probably you're quiet, but I just make sure um, I don't miss anything. So this is using the collections from, um, the, this is using some stems from the previous collections, the last two or three collections. I love mixing everything. For example, this one also using the Ultrapolis collection with all those houses and everything. I just love, love, love that one. Okay, now I can see some comments. So Judy says, love your samples. Diane said, love them all. Uh, your coloring is fantastic. Beautiful, I love the flamingo. They are also out of the samples. Thanks, Natalie. Thanks, everyone. Love everything. I think we are all speechless. Ah, oh, thanks, Isabella. <laughs> oh my God, that's fabulous from Odette. Merci beaucoup. Your colors are so intense. Indeed, I use Inktense. That's why they're intense. <laughs> that's why they're called intense. I, I use the Inktense um, colors. Okay, this one also um, using the cats and the mouse. And this is stamp set from the PFS collection as well. I love this stamp set. Look at the dog here. We stamp set from the previous collection as well. This is the November collection, I think, with all the mushrooms and all this kind of fantasy words. And then we have the dog there. Another dog with the fruits. Do you remember this stem set, guys? Do you remember this one? We did Aubergine Lodge. We did the Pineapple Pants House. We did the Pear Hotel. We did that collection with all the fruit and veggies. And you have a dog here standing. Thank you. You color the same as I've seen that one. Does it take you a long time to color them? Uh, it depends. It depends. Uh, to be fair, I never know how long it takes me exactly because I work on so many pieces at the same time. But also, I do first layer of colors. I let it dry naturally. I don't like using heat tools or heat guns or anything. I like natural drying. And that's for me because I want the paper to absorb the water and the color together. So it takes, so the paper takes that color and not just because when you heat dry it, um, you kind of make all that water disappear so the color sits only on the top and it doesn't get inside the paper so that's why I do so I let it dry sometimes for ages I do something else in the meantime I go to work I eat whatever and then I come back but also most of the time I add the second layer and the third layer of colors so when I do that I add another one and another one and another one to get the some some of them like only one layer here but if I want a bit that I really want to highlight it I use two three layers it depends that's my boy, the dog is <laughs> here, sticking his tongue out. He's telling you he wants some cheesecake, Natalie. That's what he's saying. He's, he's, he wants some cheesecake. I love how you many different stems together. Everything works. Indeed, Nancy. That's the beauty of our design. That's the beauty of Orange Create. Each time we create new collections, we need to make sure it works really well with the previous ones. And that's what we try always to do. Look at this one. A bit of the giraffe. Actually, I think I have this stem set here, the tree. Look at this tree. It's coming from this stem set. So the tree is really beautiful because you have all the separate stem elements, uh, all the elements separate, and you can create your own tree. You want it tall, you want short tree, you want to add more branches, you create your own tree the way you want it. So this stem set is amazing. It's called um, Entwined, and it's 1084. So this is what I used here. Look at this one, the giraffe with all this. I agree on the drying. <laughs> Thanks, Isabella. Not that one. Second. Oh, so interesting to have the traffic light on the tree. Indeed, it's like surreal. It's just like, um, just create, just have fun. One can make a storybook with all the stems. Absolutely. 
Look at the next one. This is one of my absolute favorite. So this is the Ultrapolis collection. I don't know if Natalie still have it in stock. All those houses, like you can create your own buildings, your own towers, your own houses, village, high street, all I need to do. And they added the giraffe here with all the um, different clouds and different houses on them. You have the tree also, this is coming from also, um from the, how it's called, from the giraffe stamp set. You have them here, as you can see, all these small bits. And then you just have fun, create, create, create. Okay. Crazy. Thanks, Nancy. <laughs> Look at that. This is the mushroom collection. Do you remember the mushroom collection? So we added this dog. So this dog comes with the same collection as uh, the same stem set as the one sticking his tongue out, which is this one. So you have those two dogs from the same stem set, and the bird is coming from the other dog stem sets. Those clouds. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks everyone. I cannot wait to show you how to create this quickly. One more sample and then I can do some demos for you. So this is using um, the trolley. This trolley is from the Halloween collection, but once you change all the colors, it does. It will not look Halloween at all because even Halloween stamps, you can use them all year long. It depends how you dress them, how you embellish them, how you color them. And that's what I did here with the dog that he's having a lot of fun with all his um, mates there. So that is that. Fun, fun indeed. Thank you. Okay, so let's do some compositions. Let's create together some. Why not? Let me see. Did I show you everything? Oh, I just have a couple to show you here quickly. This is with the book and the stag, the deer, that we released just last month. I have with the books. Look at the glossy accents. Can you see the glossy accent here on the flower? With the stag and the wings. Your art is such an inspiration. Oh, thank you so much, Suzanne. Thank you so much. We have another one with the stand flower. This is not finished yet. I need to add a little bit of more colors, but also sentiments and probably some glossy accents. Oh my God, love this. Thank you so much. All his makes are fabulous. Oh, thank you so much. When I come to Canada in October, hopefully or September, I'm not sure yet, um, I will bring all this with me so you can see them in real life. And then you can um, take pictures if you want, and then you can ask questions and all of that. This is a tag. Now using the tags, the, um, the dice, we have the giraffe, we have the cat. We have the flamingo with all of this. So you tell me which one you want me to start with. I showed you a lot of inspiration. The only two that I cannot create here in the live because they take a long time, but also because the class that I'm teaching online is those two. Those two, because I'm doing them for ecstasy crafts. I think Natalie knows that, is the distributors. So those two um, uh, also takes longer. So I'm not gonna do tonight, but anything else you've seen, from those, if you want any composition you want me to start with, I'm going to show you from finish, uh, from start to finish, how to create. This is easily those compositions, and you will see how really, really easy they are. And then you can see how you can easily create um, these compositions, and then just um, have a lot of uh, fun. And it's so easy. You have all the stems. It's just combining them and mixing them. Need those stags, indeed. You need them. They're amazing. Okay, while um, you're deciding which one to start with, I'm just going to grab all my stands, my paper, and um, just grab everything so I can. Okay, uh, where's my paper? get my paint on i use paint on paper i know a lot of people will be asking me what do i use i use paint on claire fontaine and natalie has it in stock and she has the gray she has the blue she has the green she has the white she has the black she has them all she told me that she has them all one what also while you're choosing and another thing i do usually is when i receive my stamps for example the dogs or the cats or the giraffes quand je reçois mes tampons je les tampons souvent sur un papier donc i stamp them all i color them 
and then I cut them. Either you do faster cutting or you just use your scanner to cut. They both do the job. Like I'm a little bit lazy, so I use scan and cut nowadays. Um, and so I have all my images ready and then you just have to play with them and stick them around. So this is what I do also. This is a tip. So I stamp all the images, I color them, I cut them and then I have my stash ready to use whenever I want. Sometimes I stamp them twice and do the different colors because I just love them and why not? See, I have all of these ready to be used. The flamingos, the dogs, the cats. I have um, a giraffe. I love this dog a lot as well. I love him so much. Okay. Let's do that. Let's start with... Um, do you see dice coming in the near future? Is that for me? Sorry. Um, so we just released six dice, three tags and three rectangles last month, I think. Was it last month or a month and a half ago? Um, Natalie still has some in stock and we're going to have restock very soon. And Natalie will have all the others as well back in stock if you need any. Okay. So let's start with this one. I'm going to do a couple with you. Let's start with this one with the flamingos. We can also do the dogs and cats as well. So for the flamingos, I'm going to get my flamingos. Um, <coughs> is this stamp set. So I have them. Okay, what they are. The dogs, the giraffe, the cats. Typical, typical, typical. Where are my flamingos? My flamingos disappeared, got it, disappeared. Probably. But I wanted to stamp them first. That's why they're hiding somewhere. I genuinely have no idea where I put my um, flamingos. They were here just a couple of minutes ago and they disappeared. Not that I have. Um... Oh, there they are. Sorry, they were just next to me. I'm just blind. Okay, so when I create compositions like this, so what I do is I try always to. Um, I have to say, play with my stamps in a different way. So I sometimes try to um, imagine a scene when I do like rainbow and do like a um, tree and all that. And sometimes I just create, um, I stamp one flamingo, add another one next to it, and then just take it from there. So yeah, so that's what I do. And here, if you see, if you look, it's so easy to create. All what you need is, you start stamping your flamingo, like so. I use all the time. Um, the Orange to create acrylic blocks. They come in different sizes. We have from the large A4, like I use here, to the small A7. I think the A5 is out of stock at the moment, but um, it will hopefully it will be back um, very soon. So, um, and I use also the Versifying Cloud. That's my go-to um, ink pads. I just love how juicy it is, but also for me, it's the best to grab all the details. Um, if you have a stamp set with a lot of details, and then you just want to, um, I'd say if you have stamps with a lot of details and you don't want to miss any details, I recommend the Versifying Cloud. I know there are other, um, other brands in the market that they do um, also good ink pads, but I love diversifying. Um, I used to, I use it all the time and I've been using it for a long, long, long time. So um, I know that it, it does the job really well. So this is what I do here. So I'm not going to press, I'm just putting my hand to don't move my paper and then using my acrylic blog, I get straight away a perfect image. So that's the first one. I'm just going to bring the sample here next to it. So you see how, um, so you see the progress and you see how I create these compositions from start to finish. So that's that. To prevent fussy cutting, what is it? Sorry. Uh, like ephemera, indeed. Yeah, like, F oh yeah, you mean about um, all my die cut. That's exactly what I do. Kind of, I create my own ephemera with the stems and it's easy for me to use. And then I'm going to use my second flamingo. Just 
inking my second Framinger. And stamping it like so. There you go. And then to the last one, which is this one, the third Flamingo. Or you can use also the A7, would work perfectly. So you can choose any three Flamingos you want. You have four in total, but you can choose any um, three you want. Or you can do two, you can do four, you can change the compositions. This is just to show you how I create my compositions. So that's that. So I stamp my flamingo. At the beginning, think like, okay, just three flamingo. They don't look like anything. And then the more you add elements, the more you add details. It will look um really beautiful when you color them also. So here I'm using one of the um how it's called. I'm using one of the um plates here. Like so. I'm adding some of the flowers on the top of that. Like so. And then you have here in this stamp set, you have a lot of words like love story, you have uh, pink dreams, you have fashion avenue, you have happy vibes, uh, uh, sunshine boulevard, you have some numbers, and then you can just add your elements inside um, the boxes there and then create the ones you want. We have another stamp set, what is it? It's... Um, mm -mm -mm. I have it here. Can you see here? Um, so what I did with the flamingos is I grounded them. So I used a stamp set from the previous collection, which is just a little bit of a grounding to give all the flamingos a grounding. And then all what you do is you color them. You use your um, ink tensor. So I'm going to show you quickly how I color. As I said, like um, to do the coloring is a whole workshop, and then I have to show you in details. And it takes some time to do all the layers. So it's not like just in a live five minutes. But what I want to show you is the concepts. I want to show you the concept how to color. I want to show you the concept of how to create this beautiful, um, how to say, uh, how to say beautiful compositions, but also the coloring always is um, intense. You have a nice ombre, I would say, uh, and the colors, how they blend in very well between them. For example, I grabbed here a few colors. So we have orange, I have green, I have yellow, and I have red. Let me take those three, orange, yellow, orange, red, and yellow. So I put them in order from the dark to the light or from the light to the dark. So I have reds and then I'm going to put orange and then yellow. So this is from the darkest to the lightest, or you can do from the lightest to the darkest. This is the ink tense. Uh, sorry. So, and then what I do, let me just, just sharpen this one a little bit. I even have the Derwent, um, Derwent sharpener. This is really good, I really like it, and it allows me to have that nice and Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna do just quickly the same thing. You open that one, you put... That's it, and then you press here and you get your pencil straight away its best shape so when I do the coloring I always as I said let's say um, I'm creating all the different colors in this flamingo here the flamingo I'm going to do it in a large in a large um, section here so you understand how it works the blending so I apply the first color and I do not press I just apply the color so I'm not doing I'm not doing life like this can you see I'm just doing it from a side Let's say this is the first color, red. And then do next to it the second color, but leave small gap. Even when I small small section, I always try to leave that kind of one millimeter between them. And then I go to the lighter color, do exactly the same thing. So here I have only three colors, but if you want more, you can add way more. 
And now I'm just doing the third color. So I have reds, orange, yellow. But you can, if you, for example, you want a little bit more red, you want more intense, you just add another layer on the top. So that's the first step. Once you put the color, now let's work it. Let's add some um, water. So I bring my water brush. Let me just bring um, cloth or something. So you have your water. And then all what you do, the first step is you come and then you activate the pigment because the ink tents, they're really, really high in pigment. So what you do is you just put the water on the top of the color. I'm not doing anything. I just put water on the top of the red. And then clean your brush in between, clean it, and then do exactly the same thing. You just put the water on the top of the orange. Clean your brush and then go and do the same thing for the yellow. So now we activate those pigments. They're ready to be, they're ready to, how to say, to shine, they're ready to blend in. And then you clean your brush in between, add some water, and now add the water between the first two colors. And then start going on the direction of how you put the color later, so left to right. Don't do it in this direction. Always go just in between and then create kind of that, um, you start blending the two colors together. Clean your brush, bring a little bit of water, and then work that section between the orange and the yellow. Clean your brush, and then you come back a bit. If for example, you remove, if for example, you didn't have enough color, there's two ways of doing it. Either leave it dry and then add another layer, or my, I'm a bit lazy sometimes, I'm impatient, so all what I do is I go and grab the color from here. So I take from the nib, I just go and take the color, I just take, take, take the color, can you see? I have the color now here on my water brush, and then I go and I just put it where I think it needs a little bit more of color. Can you see? I go and grab the color here. And then just so here it is in a large scale for you so to understand how I color and how the color blends in between them and then orange for example add a little bit of red let me come back and do the same thing for the orange just and grab the color straight away from my pencil I'm just going to take the color here and then go and then just put it where I want it to be and then one more for the yellow and then we're gonna bring more water to blend in and to have a nice mix. Grab some yellow and then come just and go and put it here. Two more. And just put it there. Once you're happy with that, clean your brush, a little bit of water, and then start blending in those colors together. And then let it dry. And then when it dries, you will see that kind of um, how the color blends in between them and you have that nice transition from red to orange to yellow and then you don't have to have all these kind of lines between them and then you have all this nice um ombre effect i would call it you still here guys still here you're focusing or you're just quiet or <laughs> so this is how I do when I color and sometimes when I do colors like this uh, so this is how I color for example the flamingos and for the background all I do is okay now I messed up my piece of paper but I'm going to show you how I do it this one directions I pick the first color purple and pink let me find them here let me find them uh, yeah I have a magenta here There we go, and those two colors, I'm gonna use those. That looks like it takes a ton of patience. <laughs> we admire the artist, watching carefully. Thank you, what are the name of the pencils you are using? Okay, so the reds is, look at mine, because I use them a lot, I cannot even read the names anymore. <laughs> I think it says something red. Is it a funny red? No. I don't know, I can't see anymore because I use them a lot. Okay, the orange is tangerine. This one I can read, it's tangerine. The yellow is something yellow, I can't read it. I'm gonna check um I'm gonna check the website later and I can tell Natalie the names if you want. So anyway, how to do this background? All I do is 
let me just do it here in a large scale so again you understand exactly what i am doing i apply the first color um like so i'm using my acrylic block but you can use your um let's say this is the ground because i don't have stems here so let's say this is the ground okay so and then you do your first color so you just apply that first color like so you want a little bit more of this one here the first step is literally just the color i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna do the same order as this one but i'm just gonna do um i'd say i'm just gonna um apply some colors for you so you can understand how i'm doing this one and then you do reds and if for example there's my flamingo stamped here i would just do a line and then jump where the flamingo is and then carry on like this you don't have to measure you don't have to be precise nothing this is the beauty of watercolor you can move the color from any sections you want from any section you can move it around you can um activate it again well this one wants to dry it's permanent but while it's still wet you can do so many things with it you can add on the top of it so for example i'm doing another color here and then add in more of the yellow uh have the green here colors like so probably i did not put enough so i'm just gonna come back and add more especially of the yellow so this one kind of sunshine i'm going in that direction but you can do it in other directions as well uh, i think last time i showed you the um what i did with the uh the countryside collection that we released in october different rainbows i created so this one is the darkest here let me come back to the reds now bring water your water brush and then start just working those colors clean it and then just do like this with your brush if you want to remove a bit from here you can always um, go and remove the color and then add more colors uh, add more water sorry and then work that color around in any direction you want it to be and in any um shape also you want kind of that colors to go off so the first layer is just water so you have all that color activated and then just like you see i'm just going left right left right left right to kind of get it from that straight line so i don't want something perfect straight line and then just create that um, shape that I wanted, kind of the color is noting. If I think that I put too much water and I removed a lot of colors, always come back to your pencil, grab the color and go and put it where you want, where you think it's missing a bit, and then just move it around like so. Okay, um, I have the orange, clean my brush abs, clean your brush in between. Again, water to activate all those pigments and then play left right left right so you don't have something perfect just kind of a weird shape can be a tree it can be anything you see it like so remember now we have two colors next to each other this is very close so go direction of the pen and then come back with the water and then blend in that section in between like we did before. And if you think you have too much water and you removed a lot of colors, get your pencil and take more. Oops, doing the same thing with the yellow. And then I let it dry and once it's dry, I see if I want to add another layer or if I just stop there, if I'm happy with it. So basically this is how I do all different colors here i only use three four colors where here i use blue i use different colors here and then uh, let's say i'm using the yellow what i do is i go and grab a little bit of yellow with my brush and then just press to get a little bit more of 
splatters around and I do it with the colors I want. So this is how I do, for example, this kind of um, coloring. And if I show you the other flamingo, you will see a different way of I color the, and they put it, this one. So this one, what I did is I stamped the three flamingos. I applied just the color in my background. And for the circle here is I draw half circle, like so, do exactly the same way, play the colors and then just add lines outside to give you kind of that fan effect this way. Um, do you stamp first and then add background colors? Yes, most of the time I do that. But sometimes I do, um, sometimes I do, oh, most, no, actually most of the time I stamp everything and then I color. But sometimes I color the focal point and then do the background, where sometimes I do the background and then decide about the focal points. Like, for example, I think I have one here, not in the same collection, but I started recently because I love Ultrapolis. Ultrapolis is one of those collections that I keep using all the time with the houses. This one, I created these compositions with all the houses just stuck on the top of each other. And then what I'm doing here is I'm creating the background the sky and the grass. And now I will decide how to color all the inside and the different shops because I want something different to this one. So different colors and a different composition. So that's what I'm gonna do for this one. Uh, could you do your background first or use a decal and then stamp on the top of it? Yes, you can, absolutely you can. For example, if I have this background here like this, and then what you can do also is stamp your flamingo or any focal point on a different piece of paper, cut it, and then just stick it on the top as well. Let's say this one, and then I'm going to bring my dog, and my dog will sit here, like so. It works as well. So um, I don't think there is like a rule. I don't think there is any order, specific order. You can always do it in any way you want. It's all about having fun and trying something different. Okay, thank you, thank you. You must be very patient. <laughs> I love coloring. When I color, is like my therapy. Um, I really like forgot about everything, have my own words, and just enjoy those colors. And I love creating colors and textures and all of that. So um, yeah, once I'm doing, it's a therapy for me. It's really, really relaxing. It's very, very relaxing, and just spend sometimes hours and hours just coloring, and I just love it. Okay, let's do something different. Let's do another composition. You get a fresh piece of paper. The cats. I saw a lot of people asking for the cats. Let's do this one. We have this one and we have this one. Actually, they both fit in this A4 page. So probably we're going to do the three of them. Let's do the three of them. Let's start with the cats. We have those two cats here with the flamingo. Okay, so for these compositions, how I started. Let me put them here of them so we can create together we start from this one while i have the flamingo let me stamp the flamingo first okay i have my flamingo so it's really easy like the first step is just stamping your images second step add the colors and then the third step just the finishing touches and now you have the flamingo uh, not the flamingo sorry and now you have the rubbons your finishing touches can be the rubbons. You can, for example, just add a little bit of, instead of doing all these colors here, you just bring your rubbon and then just rub around your focal point because you can cut your rubbons, just put it around it, and then you create your background. So you don't have to do all the coloring if you don't want to do the coloring or if you don't have time and you just need the last minute cards. So this also can be a good idea to replace watercolor for the background. Just use your rubbons. So I'm at my flamingo. I'm gonna ground him on um on this beautiful flower from the same stem set kind of standing on that pile of i don't know just the ground it there it looks, looks nice bring the cats now so the cat stem set we have two okay we have two stem sets let's get our stems where are the cats we have this one and then have this one, okay. We put that one side. Okay. 
Les titrants, Yannick. Hello. Okay, add in one more here, like so. The other cap. Oh, I moved a little bit. You see, it's not my, it's not the best temper here. But it's okay. Once we add the color, we can always rework that. It's, and if, for example, you really messed up a lot, you can always stamp this image separately, cut it, and then just add it on the top. For example, I should have it here somewhere. Uh, uh, no, it's not this one. Of course, that's the only one I, I don't have, I'm sure. Because I need it, I don't have it here. Or at the end of the life, I will find it. One of the two. Okay, I don't have it. Let me carry on. Now I have the other cat. I bought the cat with the meringues. Oh, the Bipasha collection. Yeah, the sweet, sweet gathering collection, we called it. Shame she did not do a cheesecake. Natalie, do you still have a cheesecake next to your shop? <laughs> um so yeah you can do this cat for example here next to the other one asking for some treats now she heard you saying you bought the meringue so the cat wants meringue as well um the sign from the flamingo stamp set This is, I'm just literally doing my compositions and you will see like, I know sometimes it looks all complicated, there are so many things, but in reality, not really. In reality, it's so easy. Um, It's just stamping, 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 stamping. Once you're happy with the composition, you just stop and then you add the color and then you add your finishing touches. The color can be on two or three stages as well. It depends how intense you want the color. If you want many layers or only one layer, depends. Some people like very pastel, very light colors. Some people like very dark and some intense colors. I love intense colors. So it depends how you want them. And then once you're happy, you can add the glossy accent after that. I love glossy accents on the top of my colored images because I feel always they give me um how to say that kind of dimension and they really highlight it all highlight all my um all my images. He'll wait more when he needs to go home. <laughs> I heard that you do milfei cheesecake in Canada. Oh my God, since um, I, I stamped the love story, but you can stamp any other um, sentiments. Love story. That is that, so I did those. Um, you have some music notes. So the music notes come from different stamp sets. So you have some here with the flamingo. This one that I'm going to stamp in a minute. For example, I'm going to stamp it here. But also you have some uh, music notes that come from the dog stamp sets. This one and this one. one. Actually, you can do second generation stamping like without adding ink. Just adding more like this. I love how it gives you like in different shades of black. Voilà. Tu sais, depuis tout à l'heure, j'ai oublié de parler en français. Je parle qu'en anglais parce que je vois beaucoup de commentaires en anglais aussi. Donc, automatiquement, euh, je réponds en anglais et je continue en anglais. Je suis vraiment désolé. Fallait me faire signe. Fallait me, comment vous dire, euh, me demander carrément de parler en français. Donc voilà, donc je tamponne, je tamponne, je fais ma composition et une fois que je suis satisfait, je passe à la couleur. Donc là, dans un premier temps, des fois, I, I am ground them, donc je marque mon sol, comme par exemple ici, ici. Là, je utilise du jaune, mais vous pouvez utiliser bien sûr la bonne couleur, ça dépend de ce que vous voulez. Et ensuite, vous passez à la couleur. La deuxième composition, c'est le chat qui sort de la boîte avec les nuages qui viennent de la planche des girafes. Donc, vous avez ces jolis nuages, mes préférés. 
Euh, là, je travaille sur une feuille A4, mais à la fin, que je vais la couper. Mais à la fin, je vais la couper en trois morceaux. So now I'm working on the three of them in the same page, the A41. But at the end, I'm going to trim them down into three pieces using my dies, which is the good thing about this one is the dies always cut for you. Um, no matter the size of your paper, you can cut in the middle, you can cut on the left, right, it doesn't matter. So that's my cut there. Uh, the what did we say? The clouds. The clouds come from the um. Uh, which one is this one? It's stem set 1127. I just love this stem set a lot. We have all those beautiful clouds. Quels sont les numéros? Quels sont les numéros des die? Alors this one. This one is 33. This one 33. This one 29. 33 and 29. But our dies, they're all similar concept. They start from 29 to 34. So you have three tags and three um, squares, rectangles, I would say. So they're in the clouds. Right, one here. And you see, each time I stamp, I do not press much because I don't want the lines to be really, really thick. Natalie, you still here? I know I've been watching this video several times. So much inspiration. Oh, thanks, Susan. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That's okay. He seems to burn it right off. <laughs> Okay, add in another cloud here, maybe. And then one more, I'm not gonna change it. I know we have a third cloud, but I'm just gonna use the same one. And then just do another one here, just next to this one, like so. So my three clouds. Okay. Natalie, when I come um, in October, we have to do a proper, a class where we do all this coloring with ink dance. Hopefully you will have them by, by then. Hopefully you will receive the stock of the um the ink tans by then. Or oh, we have the bird sitting here. The bird is from which sunset? The bird is from is it here? No, it's from the dog sunset, I think. Where's the dog sunset? Yes, indeed. It's from the dog sunset. in here waiting for his cheesecake there you go and then you have the musical notes coming from the flamingo stamp set and from the other dog stamp sets as we just did before we can always add other elements for example here we have the small uh, mouse but we can use this one i really like this one as well from the a7 the set with the cat Absolutely, I'll have them in the next week or so, so you can come even sooner. <laughs> I would love to, I really hope I can. I wish, I wish I could get ready. Look at that, I have the mouse sitting there next to the box. I'm just trying to change slightly um, the composition. Donc là, j'essaie de faire une composition un tout petit peu différente des exemples que j'ai en face de moi. Donc ça. Et ensuite, donc on a aussi euh, le petit trolley avec le caddie avec, euh, comment on appelle ça, le fromage. Donc je les pose bien par là. Voilà. Et ensuite, de la musique, de la musique. Pour finir la composition donc de la musique so we have some here from the flamingo stamp set and the other one comes from the dog stamp set once again i'm gonna do second generation stamping 
there you go and then probably even fourth and fifth generation stamping like so just some musical maybe i put too much but it's not okay it's not uh, but it's okay it's not a problem okay so that's that uh, another thing that i will do here is a giraffe we did not stamp the giraffe today the giraffe is my absolute favorite i know i shouldn't have a favorite but i must admit that the giraffe is my absolute favorite je sais que en tant que c'est moi qui a dessiné ses planches et a fait ses designs mais ma préférée reste la girafe je dois pas avoir de comment vous dire je, suis, je dois être comme un parent qui aime tous ses enfants et ne pas avoir une préférence mais je peux pas j'adore cette girafe elle est trop trop chou pour moi I just love it so that's my giraffe here oh just stamping look how cool it looks can you imagine when you add the colors later? Oh, it looks amazing. Put that aside. Go back to giraffe. Guys, don't forget to um keep supporting your local shops, Scrapbook Central. Um all the craft shops at the moment need our support need us don't don't forget to do so we need them we want um they give us all these crafty goodies what we like to do and actually i'm gonna remind you one more time about the freebie if you spend a hundred dollar on all and create products you're gonna receive a free a6 stamp sets and it's a stamp set that you cannot buy anywhere else and it's not available anywhere else it's um it's limited edition exclusive while stock last when it's gone it's gone you will not find it anywhere so it's become collective so if you have it well done okay one more just one more so i'm changing slightly the compositions here with the cloud because i'm really love i'm really loving this um this composition so I'm just gonna maybe add just like so here and more like so yeah and then let me see if it fits on my tag where is my tag uh, where is it going? so this one it fit perfectly je suis juste en train de voir ça rentre this one perfect the tag one. Oh, I love this one, number 30. This is also one of the ones that I really, really like, number 30. I love the contrast, how the straight line inside, but all these kind of amazing edges outside. I think those, I will do them later with this number 30. So, that one. This will look perfect. Only a few free stamp sets left. Oh, wow. Big wig, guys. Such a fun and elegant animal. Indeed, Natalie. I think I need to do more shopping. <laughs> Indeed, Isabella. If you want the free stamp set, do not miss out. So this one, I would do it with number 31. And I think the other one, I would do it with number 29. The tag number 29. Which is... Uh, here, to me. Oh, because I was not planning to have the mouse here, I forgot that I have the mouse, but it's okay. I can cut it here and then bring the mouse later on the top because I have a little bit of space and leeway when I do the um, mat and lading. And this one can sit later on the top of that um, edge like this. And then this one, I love the edges of this one. This is 29. This is die 29. It cuts perfectly my giraffe, it cuts perfectly my composition. And then um, give me something like this one here. Remember, they all have two dies. So you do the frame, the outer frame, and the inner one. <laughs> so you do both of them. 
Okay. Hi, Elise. Coucou, Nancy. So this is how I do my compositions. Oh, all this, um, how it's called, all these clouds, they, uh, let me just move it here. All the clouds, they have these small houses. They sit perfectly. So we measure them. We did all the house job for you. All we have to do is just pick the ones you want and then put them either on the top of the tree here, on the top of the cloud and create different compositions. You have this example here, the front packaging that you can follow. Can you see? They sit also on the giraffe beautifully. Like we curve them and with all the shapes that will fit anywhere you pick. I'm just going to do one or two. Uh, let me pick which one. I'm going to do this one on the back of the giraffe. And then the other one on one of the clouds. So from you guys here, we have 35 people watching. How many of you will come and see me? Uh, come and say hello in September or um, October. We don't know yet. I'm just curious. I love meeting new people. Uh, which houses I'm going to use? This one, the small one. Yeah, probably this one actually. That would work. I'll be there for sure. Thanks, Suzanne, Joanne, me, Isabel, moi, Annie, me. Ah, quatre personnes. Super. À de vous rencontrer. Alors, ici, la petite maisonnette. Can you see it fits perfectly on the cloud as well? Me, me, me. Even though it's 12 hours drive, I would be there. Oh, thank you so much, Pamela. So kind of you. Oh, my God. I cannot wait now. You got me even more excited. Uh, one more, rules of three, you know me, everything has to be in um, threes or five on odd number. Michel, j'aimerais beaucoup y aller. Ah, super Linda. Ah, ça va, on a une petite équipe. On va bien s'amuser. We have a small group, we'll have so much fun. Look at that house, sit beautifully in there. So, c'est comme ça que je fais mes compositions. Je rajoute les petits détails, les nuages, les maisons. Je vais même rajouter de, les arbres qui sortent d'un côté ou d'un autre. Et voilà. Voilà, voilà. J'aimerais vraiment beaucoup euh, y aller. Ah, super Julie. And, and then another Julie would love to be there. Michel said me. Jana Pring said me, but it's a long way. Come with me, Jana, carry my baggage. Jana Pring, she's from the UK. She's our demonstrator on TV. And she's a really good friend and she's part of our design team. And she's a very, um, how to say, um, loyal customer as well. To all and create. It will not be a small group at all. They will be lined up to register. Oh, thanks, Natalie. I really cannot wait. I really cannot wait. So this is my compositions. Now I'm just going to trim um, my paper using the dies and then have the three sections. And the once I have the three sections, I just lay them up on the top of my, um, how it's called, on the, um, the black one. But you don't have to use black one. You can use craft paper. You can use uh, white paper as well if you want. You can do white on white. It works also beautifully. Or you can use any other color you have, like I showed you before. I think I used one of them in different color, but I don't know what it is now. Of course, I'm not going to find it when I mention it, just like this. So, yeah. So, this is what I did. Um, please, guys, let me know if you want me to show you anything in particular. Let me just move. Um, I'd say, let me just turn the camera. I'd turn the camera to see me here. There you go, I'm still with my AirPod, they're still working. Um, let me just know um, if you want to show you something else. I showed you the rub ones, I showed you the dies, I showed you the stamps, and I showed you the different compositions. And also I gave you a little, um, how to say, some hints and tips, how you do all your blending and your coloring and some background. And now watercolor sessions takes longer, but at least I want to show you a little bit how, if you want to start, if you want to have a go, 
so you know um some of the details so please let me know if you want to show you something else while i'm still here and if someone missed let's say the first part of the robins i can also do a quick demo for you now and show you how they work either on paper or on glass or ceramics or on a cover of um a book or an album or anything else whatever i have in front of me here thanks that's very true <laughs> thank you susan thank you so much really i appreciate the demo thank you so much um thanks for you thanks for your time for joining us and for um your lovely company coucou pierrette ça va merci beaucoup à toi aussi joanne d'être ici uh, thank you very much for your time thanks linda je veux la girafe la girafe nathalie tu as la girafe en stock do you have it in stock <laughs> Merci Annie, merci beaucoup, j'ai beaucoup aimé ton vidéo, ta vidéo, on se voit en octobre, merci, ah super Céline, en octobre alors, show off my apron, but it's to be clean, <laughs> oh your apron indeed, I forgot the apron guys, so the apron is this one, let me show you the apron, so this is the apron, it's an orange create apron, so you have, um, if you have big pockets here, it's a knife. Actually, this is canvas. You can even do some rubbles on it. You can add a section. You can rub it. You can create different elements of it. So this rubble is coming out next month, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All girls as planned. Um, and you will be, um, this Orange app will be available for you to purchase uh, from next month um, through Nathalie and um, Visa Scrapbook Central. Je vais, um, je vais vous écouter en reprise. Super Pierrette, great demo. Merci Sylvie. Thank you so much. Always love watching you create. Ah, oh, thank you so much Pamela. Thanks for everything. Need the iPhone. <laughs> oh, j'aime beaucoup ton tabli. Merci beaucoup Céline. Donc c'est un tabli Orange Create qui sortira le mois prochain. Si tout va comme prévu, espérons, je croise tout, 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 qu'on aura le stock de chez le fournisseur à temps pour une sortie imminente le mois prochain. Ben, sinon, ça va être le mois d'après. Voilà, mais, mais promis avant octobre, ça c'est sûr. Euh, Pre-order by email now. Et voilà, vous pouvez aussi le précommander par email. Donc, vous n'avez qu'à écrire à Nathalie si vous voulez réserver votre tablier. Uh, if you want to um, reserve your uh, pre-order, your apron, all we have to do is email Natalie and then um, you will be the first one to know when it's available. Uh, I think um, if there are no questions, if there are no requests, we're all good to go. Thank you so much for your time again. Thank you so much for um, your company. I really hope you enjoyed um, the live and the demos. I know we had a little bit of bumpy start between the sounds, my AirPods, the camera, my tripod, Nothing was working, but I hope um, you forgot that a bit and then you enjoyed the demos and having fun together with all the products. Vous pouvez faire une précommande avec nous par courriel. Before I forgot, before I go, I'm going to just remind you one more time to please, please support your local shops. Please support Natalie's Cabo Central and um, our craft shops. We need those shops. We need them to keep going. We need them to... Um, they are like giving us this amazing goodies, like keeping us sane and all of that. So please do support them. And you may also have this for free. Remember, if you spend a hundred dollars on Orange Create, you will get this one for free. It's an exclusive stamp set. It's free gift, limited edition, not available anywhere else. And you cannot even buy it if you want because it's nowhere available. Donc voilà, avant de partir, je vais juste vous faire un petit petit rappel. N'oubliez surtout pas de soutenir euh, les petites boutiques comme Nathalie, les boutiques de loisirs créatifs. C'est grâce à vous, c'est grâce à eux, enfin c'est grâce à eux qu'on qu qu continue à créer, qui nous offrent tous ces produits et tout ça. Et, et peut-être qu'il sait, peut-être que vous allez aussi avoir cette planche gratuitement pour tout achat de 100 dollars chez Nathalie euh, en produit on Create. Vous aurez la planche gratuitement. Voilà, voilà. Donc merci beaucoup encore parfois à vous et Scrabble Central is the best indeed Suzanne and Natalie is also the best Natalie is a person that I really really like and um, she's amazing she's a really good friend as well she's very supportive um, she supports all to create for a long time and then um, we also support her as much as we can as well so I cannot wait to come to Canada to the shop because I would love to visit the shop I saw like a video uh well many videos that Natalie did in her shop and I would love to come and visit the shop it looks like heaven it looks big like it looks big and like there's so many things uh I'm sure I would be shopping like this though tomorrow 
<laughs> giraffe, Nathalie. Pierre de Mont, la giraffe. She takes a great care of us. Oh, that's amazing. I have no doubt, to be fair. She's really good. Love you. See you soon. Miss you, my friend. Miss you too, Nathalie. I feel like, um, I have to say, um, Frankfurt was ages ago and it was just a month and a half ago, at least a long, long time ago. So many things happened in between and I was so busy with work that it seemed like it was um, years ago. Voilà Julie, merci and merci tout le monde. Il faut venir le voir chez Scrabourg Central. Croisons les doigts pour cette année. Croisons les doigts. J'ai promis à Nathalie et je vais ressenir ma promesse. Voilà, promis à K majeur. Mais normalement, j'y serai cette année avec vous et nous allons passer un bref juste de pour... C'est la connexion On se dit hier et je vais venir nous voir sur Scrapo Central. Voilà, I think I'm losing my internet. Bye, it's best. Have fun, everyone. Bon fin de journée. Je sais qu'il est peut-être, je ne sais pas, peut-être qu'il est 18h, 17h au Canada. Ici, c'est presque 23h. Donc, je vous dis très, très bonne fin de journée. Très bon week-end aussi. Amusez-vous bien. Scrapez énormément. Créez et partagez avec nous. N'hésitez pas aussi à scanner les QR codes et venir nous faire coucou sur la communauté Holland Create Fanatics. Voilà, voilà. Fingers crossed. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your Friday and enjoy your weekend. Have fun. Have a lot of crafting. And do not hesitate. And do not forget to scan your QR code. The, sorry, the QR code, um, code sorry, in all our packaging to join our community online, Holland Create Fanatics. Bye for now. Thank you.